One of the first things I like to do when I find a new map is do a little exploration to see just what all is on the map. Today we're going to take a look at Harvest Valley map. It's a brand new map that just came out today. As we step down off the porch here, we can see there are a lot of big buildings on this map. We see lots of sheds, garages, a huge cow barn with a robot, some bunker silos, looks like probably sheep pen, chicken pen, horse pasture, pigsty, a huge silo complex, and lots more. It's even got a really nice house sitting on a couple of cool little lakes here. The map also features a nice little recreation area with a lake. A small little industrial complex here. Here's the farmer's market. This map also features a biogas plant. The grain mill here seems to be connected to the railroad also. And there goes the train right now. This facility here is actually the animal dealer. It's a little bit different setup than I've seen in a lot of other maps. But I'm sure there's a way to purchase your livestock. There we go. Purchase and sell your livestock and probably sell your straw, hay. This group of buildings here is actually the shop. It's a little odd, to say the least. Uh, I'm not sure what all this grass growing up in the middle of the place is all about. Looks like there's some sort of a sell point underneath the canopy back there and then i don't know is this an abandoned gas station perhaps i'm not sure i haven't checked that out just yet i got a feeling there will be a few modifications to this to get rid of a lot of this dirt and grass and make the place look a little more tidy here's another grain elevator Looks like it's pretty close to the farm in the background there. And we're passing over the sawmill now. I'm going to drop down and take a look at a little bit of the detail on this map. Lots of trees. There's a few houses here with a lot of detail. I really like the road system here. It's very, very realistic looking. There goes some traffic. Nice little neighborhood here. It's not a huge map, but it's got a lot of nice detail, lots of potential. All of the fields are square, rectangular shaped, straight sides. Wouldn't be hard to use a lot of AI workers to help take care of tasks around your farm. The farm is centrally located in the map, which makes it convenient to all the other cell points and factories. Overall, it's a pretty nice map. But I don't like to leave maps alone. I like to make some changes. I have my favorite mods that I like to put on a map. And we're going to take a look at a few of those here in just a minute. Some people might not like my approach to a map and changing things up. That maybe I should leave it alone as the creator intended. But the whole purpose of Farm Simulator being the way it is, is that you can do anything you want on a map. First things I usually do is try to decide, do I want to run a big farming operation or a small farming operation? This setup here looks like it's got great potential for being a large farm operation, but there's a few changes that I like to make. First thing I'm going to do is get rid of some of the buildings that I just don't want. So let's go into our construction menu. We're going to go over to demolish. 
I really don't like this building. It is probably expensive. We had a $455,000. We're going to sell that. Here is the cow barn with the feeding robot. Not a big fan of the feeding robot, so we're going to get rid of that. I don't do a lot of uh, bunker silos, so we're going to get rid of that. That's a pretty big chicken coop. I don't mind that one. Sheep barn, not really into sheep right at the moment. I have done it on other maps, but I just don't feel like doing it on this map. Uh, horse barn, I like having a bunch of horses. Pigsty, I think we're going to get rid of the pigsty. I've, just, I've done some pigsties before, and they're a lot of fun too. And I'm just not a fan of this big silo complex here for $198,000. I've got another one that I like a little better. Uh, it's multi-fruit. You can put absolutely anything you want into that silo. That's a huge workshop. I don't really care for that big building. We're going to put a couple of other buildings. We're going to keep this big building here because I just like the way it looks. It's a little bit bigger building than I usually have on a farm, but we can work around that, I believe. So there, I think we've gotten rid of everything we want to get rid of. We double check here. We've got $2.2 million instead of 100000 that we started with. So I think we can put that money to good use. Next thing we're going to do is get rid of some equipment. Just like anything else, I've got my favorite equipment that I like to use. Normally, I would take a lot of this equipment and pull it over to the shop where I could get a few more dollars for it. But right now, all I'm going to do is just go into my menu, go down here and start with telehandler tool. I don't like a telehandler. Don't need that. Don't need that cedar. I've got my favorite one that I want to use. So we're going to get rid of those. I've got another planter I like. Don't like that fertilizer spreader. Not going to work with stone. Don't like that plow. Don't like that cultivator. Don't like that disc harrow. I like the roller. We'll keep that. For these trailers here, these Brantners, because the wheels on the front are connected to the axle that turn, to me, they're super difficult to back up. So we're not going to use that. This uh, one here seems like it holds a lot of stuff, but I've got one I like better. I'll go up here. I'm not going to do any forestry. So there is a ton of money there to be had. There's the telehander. We're going to get rid of that. Auger wagon. We're going to keep that for now because I do like to use those once in a while. That harvester. I like a good uh, New Holland harvester. I'm a big John Deere fan. All right. So what are we up to now? Oh, we're up to about three and a half million dollars. Now, before we get too much further, I want to make an important point here. I have a mod called Easy Development Controls installed. And with that, if I hit my Function 12 key, it opens up that menu. If you tab down, you see extra time scales are turned off. If we turn those on, you get a warning that says using timescales greater than 5,000 may have a negative effect on base game and custom scripts. What that also allows me to do, if I go into my game menu here, you see that I have my autosave interval is turned off and my time scale can go to zero. So I stop time in effect. The reason you want to have autosave interval turned off is so that as you make modifications to your map, every modification you make Go in and save. That way, if you make a mistake on the next thing that you do, you can just exit the game without saving. And then that way, when you come back into the game, you'll be right back where you started without the mistake. Does that make sense? Something else you can do with easy development controls is delete objects. So I have delete objects. You can turn that on and off. If you turn that on, I don't like these trees, so all I have to do is just get close enough to one, hit my delete key, and it's gone. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the rest of these trees and be right back. So the first building I want to place is a cow barn. So we'll go into our construction menu, over here to animals, down from cows, and this particular free-range cow barn large is the one that I like. We're going to move it up just a little bit. You see the little grid in the back, and it doesn't have a fence back around the pasture. But all we have to do is we'll go back in a little bit later, and we will add a fence around there. So we'll go ahead and place that item right there. 
This building here is another one that I like, but it's already been installed, so I don't have to worry about putting it in. This is bale and pallet storage. It's really nice because you can unload bales of straw, hay, silage, anything you want in there. You can also store any pallets in there. Next thing I like to do is put in a nice big silo. If I go into my construction menu again, go down to silos, this big monster right here, I'm going to put it right in here. I want it somewhere like that. This one you can store just about everything under the sun in it. Now, if you remember before, we took out these bunker silos that we had in there. I'm not a big bunker silo fan. I like to use a fermenting silo. There are two types of fermenting silos that I like to use. These blue ones here, they have the load in and the load out points at 90 degree angles to each other. This other one, a stave silo here, has the loading points on opposite sides. So in some situations, one's better than the other. We're going to use this one here. We're going to place it back this way here. Something else I like are greenhouses. So we'll go back into our construction menu, over to production, down to greenhouses. And the ones I like are this one right here, large greenhouse. This one takes manure and fertilizer. So with the cows producing manure, you can help save on fertilizer costs by using the manure as a fertilizer also. So we're going to put a couple of them. Let's go ahead and put like three of them in here, right out here in the middle. Now here again, you'll have to toggle free mode in order to get these things close to each other because I like to have them touch. I don't care about the loading out spots because we're not going to use that. When we set them up, we're going to set them up to sell. There it is. We're going to put one more in here right next to that one. There. Now, when we go in to set these up in our production chains menu, we're going to activate all of these. And in the silage, we're going to activate the grass and we're going to store that so we can get it whenever we need to. When it comes to the greenhouses, we're going to change the storing into selling. So all we need to do is come over here. change those to selling. Now you have to do that for each one of the greenhouses. So all of the productions are started. All we got to do is just fill them up with seed, fertilizer, and or manure. Another mod I like to have is some outdoor shed storage. So we'll go back into our construction menu, go down on sheds here, and this big hay shed, it says hay shed, but I use it to store a lot of equipment in. I like having equipment outside underneath the cover here. Next thing we need is a pressure washer and a place to work on our equipment. We go back in the construction menu, go into tools. Here is the little trailer here I like to put in. We will also pop in the pressure washer. Put that anywhere we want to. Let's just put it right there. Next thing we want to add is a manure pit. Go into our construction menu, over to silo extensions, this one right here. You can rotate it any way you want to. It usually snaps to 90 degrees. We want to be sure and get out of the way of the doorway there. And we'll pop that thing right there. Now this farm already came equipped with a nice horse pasture. If I were doing a smaller setup, I would use a smaller little horse pasture like this. I would place that in here in the back left corner, put a little shelter for the horses, a few trees around it for shelter from the elements. And I would go with that, especially because it's inexpensive. Same thing goes for the chickens. If I wasn't using this big one here, there's a smaller one over here that I like to use. That is this one right here. Got a nice little coop. It's got some nice little features. I just like the way it looks. I would have put that one in here somewhere and fill it full of chickens. Another little thing I like to add in, go back into construction, over to animals, come over here to bees. Bees are a lot of fun. You don't have to do anything with them. You can just put them out here next to some of your fields. Then you got to have a place for the pallets to be produced. And it does not have to be right here near this. We'll just put that there. And as the bees produce honey, uh, those honey pallets will pop up right here. 
All right, so there you have it. That's about a dozen mods that I usually use on almost every farm build that I do. Sure, there's a couple of other ones that I do just to fit certain situations. If it's a small, compact, wooded farm or something like that, it, you may see a lot of different buildings. Sometimes I don't have big buildings like this. I have a lot smaller stuff, a smaller operation. And other times I'll have multiple cow barns and, you know, big time farming operation. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure and visit the Farm Bubba homepage for more videos. Subscribe to the channel if you would please and ring the notification bell to be notified when the next video posts. Please leave a comment below and let me know what you thought of this farm build. What you liked or didn't like, what you would do different. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.